having restored well over 400 buildings listed on the National Register of Historic Places and comprised of individuals skilled in construction with decades of experience dedicated to the restoration of historic buildings and places of worship, there was little doubt why the church leaders of Trinity Cathedral in Miami, Florida selected Church Restoration Group as their general contracting firm. Trinity Episcopal Cathedral is the oldest church in the original city limits of Miami and is the Southeast Episcopal Diocese of Florida. Constructed in 1925, architect Harold Mundy combined Romanesque, Byzantine, and Italianate architecture. Many people come just to admire the architecture and view the exquisite mosaics that adorn the church's interior. The cathedral is on the National Register of Historic Places because of its architecture and historic significance to the community. Church Restoration Group, also known as CRG, first worked with the church leaders in October 2005. We are based in Cranberry Township, Pennsylvania. We specialize in the restoration of churches, sacred places, and historic buildings. We put together a, a team of professionals, mostly from the area here, to restore this grand cathedral. So it was very important that the work be done properly and professionally. It was at this time that Southern Florida was impacted by one of the most powerful storms to occur this late in the hurricane season. Hurricane Wilma was a strong Category 2 storm when it crossed the area with wind speeds in excess of 120 miles per hour. The storm was so intense that portions of the church's metal standing seam roof were lifted off. Wind-driven rain penetrated through the roof system as well as through gaps around the stained glass windows. In addition to the structural damage the storm created, the water damaged the interior paint and plaster finishes and many liturgical items. Church Restoration Group immediately began disaster mitigation services to stabilize the building to prevent any further damage. Water extraction and high capacity drying equipment was utilized. Because the area was without power, CRG's trailer mounted electric generators were set in place. During the mitigation process, CRG helped facilitate the property claim loss with the church's insurance carriers. Together, the leaders of the church, their insurance carrier, and CRG reviewed the scope of work and associated costs. The most significant part of the project was the replacement of the metal roof. This part of the project required extensive involvement by CRG with the local building code department to ensure that the materials specified and the fastening system design met all of the county's strict requirements. Furthermore, because the building is listed on the National Register as well as Florida's list of historic places, CRG and Trinity also worked with Florida's Historic Review Commission to confirm that the work was performed in accordance with state historic requirements. Following completion of the roof work, CRG's next step was to create a master plan study for the cathedral to address significant renovations needed to meet the city's recertification requirement for buildings over 40 years old. The study was a crucial part of the planning phase. CRG's experience in construction, business continuity, historic preservation, and knowledge of traditional building concepts was a key role in developing the plan and setting priorities along with budgetary cost estimates. Church leaders now had a road map that would help them and their congregation focus on what is necessary to upgrade their facility to meet current code requirements and better serve their congregation and community. Following acceptance of the master plan study and completion of a capital campaign, Trinity and CRG assembled a professional and qualified team that embarked on a two-year, $7 million major restoration project to carefully restore the significantly historic building. The local architect selected for this undertaking was R.J. Heisenbottle Architects, a well-known architectural firm who, like CRG, is extremely experienced with historic buildings and working with religious communities. There was a whole section of the building, namely all of the finished floors in the building, that were not built on piles, that were in fact built a slab on grade, and that were collapsing like the floor that I'm standing on right now. That, along with the, the structural deterioration of, of areas underneath the altar behind us, ended up posing some of our most serious structural problems and serious structural challenges in terms of restoration. The challenges of keeping the facility operational 
the same time as, as we had to produce the highest level of workmanship and quality of restoration work uh, was something that has really made me proud of the uh, Church Restoration Group and, and we look forward to working with them again. Implementing the upgrades needed to meet the structural, electrical, mechanical, and life safety requirements were challenging. The team developed a scope of work and a construction schedule to minimize disruption to the church worship services and other events that regularly occur within the building. Because Trinity is the cathedral for Episcopal Diocese of Southeast Florida and considering that the church interiors contain some of the finest examples of religious mosaics, it is used frequently for weddings, by the film industry, and other significant occasions. The congregation benefits from the revenue created by the use of the cathedral's amenities. One of the conveniences of having church restoration here is that they understood the process and the operation of church business. That allowed us to basically continue with our day-to-day -day worship services, which are Monday through Friday, uh, and then also to continue having funerals, weddings, and our Sunday church services uh, at 8, 10, 12, 15, and 6 p.m. So we started with a construction zone during the course of the week, stopped, held services, went back to work, and we were cleaned up and ready to go for Sunday services. A wonderful job Church Restoration Group has done. CRG was able to create a construction schedule and phasing in of certain construction events that allowed the church to be operational during much of the construction process. One of the most significant parts of the work included the structural strengthening of the building foundation. Due to poor load capacity of the soil, parts of the building had settled and shifted over the years creating gaps and cracks in the finishes and structural elements. Working with the engineers, CRG first pressure grouted areas under the chancel and aisles that provided the much needed support to the structure. Following this leveling and stabilization process, CRG disassembled all of the marble including the marble communion rail and the decorative marble chancel floor. Portions of the slate floor in front of the pews were also dismantled and reset. An equally significant part of the work was the refurbishment of the stained glass windows and the impact resistant protective outside glass. The stained glass windows, along with their metal frames, had suffered 80 years of exposure in a region known for severe weather, intense heat and salty environment. Access to and removal of the windows was systematically scheduled such that not all of the windows were removed at the same time. Additionally, the design of the window assembly that included the stained glass window frame and new protective glass needed to be tested and approved by the authority having jurisdiction. This required a mock-up of the complete window assembly. Furthermore, once installed, the window needed to be inspected and approved to ensure that all of the requirements of the design and installation had been met. The stained glass studio selected by CRG was Domcat Studios of Florida. Domcat is known for their work in religious structures. In addition to all of the major structural upgrades and repair work, CRG also conducted various cosmetic repair and painting work. The church was completely repainted both inside and out. Additional light fixtures were added to illuminate the exterior facades as well as enhanced lighting within the church. The sound system was upgraded and the organ refurbished. We've been working over these last six years to not only bring the cathedral up to current code, but also to make some enhancements and some improvements that needed to be done, which were long overdue. But we've been able to work the building program into um, the other activities of the cathedral so that we have never stopped our worship services, we've never stopped our outreach programs or our other ministries to the community. And as we've moved forward with the construction, we've been enhancing the neighborhood at the same time. Major restoration projects can be complex and comprised of delays, deadlines, setbacks, and the unknown. However, perhaps none more challenging are those projects that involve an active and historic place of worship that is the center of their community. The team at Church Restoration Group is proud to be instrumental in the successful completion of this multi-million dollar project, where the end result was the creation of a religious facility that now meets current code requirements and offers an environment that better promotes the vision, mission, and core values of the congregation at Trinity Cathedral. 
Church Restoration Group's artisans, managers, field personnel, and administrators' combined experience can be measured in centuries, not just decades. This experience and our commitment to high quality standards ensure our clients that their project is in the best of hands. From emergency services required after wind, water, and fire damage to assessments, master planning, restoration, and project management, Church Restoration Group can fulfill your needs. Visit our website at www.churchrestoration.com to learn more about how we can help you make your visions a reality.